Hi and welcome to the Would You Be Mine Hop. This is my Erica's stop on this hop. We are sharing some inspiration for the upcoming Valentine's holiday with projects that incorporate wood. And I was a little bit stumped to begin with, but then I remembered I had this laying around. And this, I kid you not, is like 12, 13 plus years old. So it's really quite sort of thick wood pieces. And I do believe these might be from Kaiser Craft. And uh, I decided I was going to paint this and then finish off the love with either black or white paint or something like that. But I, I thought, you know, okay, so this is probably... I was, yeah, I, I don't know exactly what I was thinking about that first, but I thought, you know, let's make a beautiful background and then kind of, you know, get into the swing of this. So I'm going to cover this with white acrylic paint, just as a, like a base. And then we're going to put some lovely splashy colors on top of that. But I'm going to just uh, get back into the, um, the rest of the hop a little bit first here. So at the top of the description box, you will find the link to the next person in the lineup. And I do hope you take the time to watch all of the hop videos because we do love your comments and your thumbs up and and a view and a comment is so important to the interaction for YouTube. And if you do love our videos, please do make sure that you leave at least a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, yay! And hit the notification button so you don't miss any of the videos. Um, if you want to see more of these, of course, you know, you can just hop along in the, with the videos here. But you can also use the hashtag would you be mine to find all the videos in this hop. So uh, as you can see, I've covered my back piece and then I decided I was going to cover this one with one layer of uh, white paint as well. And then it was time to add some lush, lush, lush colors to this. I have used a range of acrylic colors. And my inspiration for this background piece is Sarah Cooey art. If you have not seen her art, oh goodness, you are missing out. I will put a link to her Instagram, which is like instant happiness in an Instagram account. Honestly, you must, 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 much, must go and have a look and, you know, give her some love. I have several pieces from her original, um, uh, colors and I just love the happiness that I get from watching them. So I thought, okay, well, recently she had a, um, a picture of a unfinished canvas. So it was just cover colors um, on this actual canvas. She's probably going to add like her amazingness uh, to that. But I thought, you know what? I really like those colors to begin with. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to try to like, not, you know, straight up and down copy, but kind of, you know, do my Erica touchy my kind of magic on that so uh yeah don't really know where I was going with that but what I am uh what I was sure uh, about when I was doing this is that it just reminded me of how much fun it is to splash colors around and just kind of you know just sit down and like play with color it's you might think oh but that's so childish yeah eh, maybe so but it's a great, great therapy. It's almost like meditation, just watching those colors go back and forth. And then just, yeah, I actually, once I finished with this, I ended up painting another couple of canvases just, and these were like actual canvas canvases because I just had so much fun with this. It was like, why did I ever stop doing this? You know? So that was a great fun like rediscovery of uh, being part of this hop so as you can see I'm kind of going from like a, a purpley magenta and then we're gonna go sort of lighter pink um and then we're going to um, add some orange and some yellows to kind of like go into like a almost like a sunsetty look but there's a lot of different shades of pink here to kind of blend them in and uh, here at first I was like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe that was a mistake. But after some blending, this is a fun thing as well with acrylic paint is that, you know, you just kind of blend, blend, blend. And then if you don't like it, leave it to dry and cover it up with some other color. But I decided to just kind of plow on and just keep adding my colors. And um, I, I must admit that I really, really, really enjoyed this process. And I also really loved how we turned out in the end. So I think I'm going to get my acrylics out a little bit more often and just kind of sit down and like 
have a good old play paint session. Just kind of go to town. Because it really was almost like a revelation, like how much I've enjoyed it. So yeah, really, really, really happy about that. But um, yeah, so uh, as you can see, I'm kind of like going down towards the end here. And um, it, it was just... Yeah, I love, and this is one of my favorite colors. It's really, really dark. Um, oh, I want to say it's um, Fatalo Turquoise or Fatalo. You know, it's like the PT, the one that's like, is it a silent P or is it an actual P? But it's one of those like amazing blue turquoise colors. I love, love, love them. Mm. And uh on the love part, I did actually, I did do another layer of white because it just wasn't quite sort of thick enough the first time around. So you just needed another layer. So there's two coats of white paint on there. And then I thought, well, with that background being so colorful and wonderful, I was like, oh, the white is just a bit plain. You know, I always had this problem. So I was like, okay, let's, let's add a little bit of goldy shimmer to that. So I took a little bit of white paint and a little bit of gold and then the first one is like a sort of shimmery gold and then the other one that I added is like a really full-on bright goldy goldy and then I mixed those up to kind of make a little like not another not another color but just kind of a little bit of gold and I just kind of spread this out it's not thick at all kind of like in a shabby chic way I guess you would say yeah so you can see like just blah 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 you can see the brush strokes. I'm fine with that. No biggie. And uh, to kind of match this gold, we're going to have a little bit of a look-see up here close. You can see it just kind of adds a little bit of like texture and interest to that. And the reason I did this gold is because I'd also splattered this with gold on, you know, and that just kind of took it from, yeah, nice to, yo, so nice. Can I say that myself? Eh. Uh, anyway, so I um, uh, when when all this was dry, I just glued that down, and then with that, it was already all done. And I'm going to be probably displaying this in my craft room because I just ended up loving those colors so much, and that texture you get from the paint when it's like not quite mixed together, like with that so streakiness, love that. So this is my hop, uh, or my hop, my stop on the hop. Blah, blah, blah. Get it together, Erica. So the next stop will be right at the top of the description box. And I really hope you will watch everything else. And I can't wait to see what you think about this.